All right, guys. Well, uh, this vlog might be uh, boring to some of you guys, but uh, for one specific viewer, John1240 Able, this is going to be a uh, look around my car that I drive. Uh, 99 Honda Accord EX V6. I don't really know the exact specs of the car because I'm not really a big car person. But anyway, I'm just going to show you around the uh, inside of the car, you know, and also the outside. Pop up the hood and I'll show the... Uh, I think it's a 3 liter engine, I'm not, uh, I forgot at the moment like what engine it is, but I think it's a 3 liter, but uh, we'll see when I pop the hood and show you that. So let's go and get right to it. Okay, here's the uh, dash, uh, got some, got an air vent here, speaker up here, you know, for like the CD player, radio, uh, vents there, vents there, airbag for the passenger side. The glove compartment, nothing really special in here other than an owner's manual, my insurance card, uh, some extra napkins, like if, say, if I'm eating in the car and if I don't have enough napkins then I can always grab some out of here. Usually I'll have some, and it's also used for Kleenex, just in case I don't have Kleenex in here, but uh, I usually have Kleenex in here, so it's all good. Uh, down here, that's just my uh, iPhone charger, iPhone car charger, which is really convenient. Uh, passenger seat is in good condition. Unlike the driver's side, there's a little minor tear here, but it's no big deal. It's nothing serious. And of course, here are my uh, window controls. That would be uh, for that side. That one would be for that's uh, that window right there. And then uh, this one would be for this window. And then this one would be for that window. So I can control these uh, up here, my mirror controls. Uh, I can change it over to the left and change it, or have both, I guess. Or actually, no, that, that locks it, I guess, you know, like into place. And then I can change it over to the right and control that mirror, which I, I can't right now because I don't have the uh, key in. Cruise control, uh, which is uh, really nice, you know, especially if I don't want to have my foot on the gas while I'm driving all the time. Uh, change uh, area where, you know, say if I don't want to open this up, you know, to find change. This is kind of a quicker way, you know, where I can put like a whole bunch of pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, etc. Sunroof controls will do those in a uh, little bit when I turn the car on. And then uh, the car lights, uh, turning this once will be uh, the dim lights and then full lights. And then turn that back to off. Pulling this back will activate the uh, uh, bright lights. And then the windshield wiper controls, pulling this back will uh, activate the uh, windshield fluid. Help clean your windshield off a little bit better. <laughs> Here are the uh, controls for uh, AC. We will do this when we turn on the car in just a minute. Of course, get your time up there. AC controls and uh, radio controls. You know, six preset channels, FM, CD. CD player on this is a piece of crap now because it quit working a while back. And then uh, AM radio, which I rarely use because I don't listen to 80. I don't listen to AM. I mainly listen to FM radio. Usually, a uh, 105.1 Jack FM here in Decatur, Illinois or 107.3 WDKR, my usual radio stations I listen to here. Emergency brake, transmission, this is automatic transmission, park, reverse, neutral, drive 4, drive 3, drive 2, drive 1. I usually drive in uh, drive 4. And uh, yeah, let's go and fire up this bad boy. Uh, and uh, here is the... Uh, Pretty, pretty uh, speedometer when it's all lit up and everything. Of course, those are like the uh, car door indicators, you know, the trunk and the brake lamp for like, you know, tail lights. That is for like your uh, temperature on how cool or how warm your car is. Fuel, yeah, I'm kind of low on fuel, but this thing is good on uh, gas mileage. Then over here, the check engine light, I've always had that on, or that's always been on, but I haven't had any problems, you know, while driving on a check engine light. Of course, a battery indicator and oil indicator, but my battery's fine, my oil is fine, and uh, acceleration, miles per hour, and uh, of course I showed you the fuel and the temperature gauges.
And here is the back side of the car. Of course, got my three stickers. Southern Illinois Salukis, Chicago Bulls Bench Mob, and a Chicago Bulls sticker, of course. Gears of War 3 sticker up there, Berkeley sticker below that. That Gears of War 3 sticker's kind of faded. <laughs> That's sad. And, uh, of course, the other Gears of War 3 one I have. I got those when I bought Gears of War 3, the video game, like, last September. Uh, Bob Brady Automall Decatur is where we bought this certified use, about 78,000 miles on it, and has well over 150,000 miles now on it. And here's the front. That is the engine, 3.0 VTEC. It's a pretty big beast. <laughs> There's some leaves from the fall last year. I should really get those cleaned out. <laughs> of course, everything else. Just step back here. There's an overall look at the uh, front of the car. So that's a uh, pretty much uh, basic look at the car. I know it's uh, just a basic 99 Honda Accord. Anyway, uh, John, I hope you uh, enjoyed, and uh, thanks for watching.